What's up guys? Welcome back to episode 3. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you guys have any questions for me or any comments or any suggestions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll be responsive as I can to those. Um, we're going to get started right where we left off with the uh, X carriage and we're going to get that going. So let's get building. We've been safe again for so long, but I really 
guys right here make sure that uh, you check all the wheels make sure everything's loose and functioning properly and that uh, everything's lined up the same and that you didn't uh, put a, a spacer in the wrong spot Right here on these plates you see this little cutout, this little indent. You need to make sure that's going towards the inside here. fit the carriage make sure it's fitting right it's rolling right all the wheels are rolling and they're all engaged this lead screw grows in that uh, that block that you put on that has the uh, the adjustable end collars you need to make sure that you get this set screw in there but not all the way otherwise you won't be able to seat it in there set your collars your shim and the bearing make sure this top plate has that that indent towards the inside there because that's where your bearing is going to be sitting at. <laughs> that you got the flat part of the motor facing you you get the big end of this and the small end of the spring make sure the small end goes on the motor the big end is for the lead screw This portion of the plate is where this bearing is going to sit. Make sure it's in there all the way and seated properly. That way it keeps your lead screw lined up straight and even. And then tighten the collar down and that holds it all in place. Make sure you do the same thing for this bottom one. Set that bearing in there. Then it's straight and even, and then tighten down the collar.
these eccentric nuts, if you notice, the hole is uh, out of center. When you turn them, you want the laser cut six millimeter sign facing you. You want to do it a quarter turn so it snugs up the wheels against the carriage. One of the upgrades that Bulkman does is they make sure that these, these ends on the extrusions are already threaded for you so you don't have to do it yourself. There's a metal extrusion, the 2040 size, the smaller one here. You have three of them in your kit. Two are the same length, one is not. It's a little bit longer. Make sure that whenever you're putting this together here, you're using that longer one. sure that you're doing it just like you did with the carriage assembly. You're putting these bearings in their little pockets where they go and making sure that the lead screw is lined up and those bearings are set. angle brackets are a little bit tricky. You gotta make sure you get the T-nut in there first and then tighten it up, just barely snug, and then tighten the other side. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you have any questions about what we just covered, feel free to just put those comments down there, and I'll, I'll answer them as I, best as I can. If it's something that's more technical, I'll make a video about it, and we, I'll address it specifically. So see you guys next time. Thanks. Thanks.